So the box that we just cemented together, taped and cemented, has been set aside so the cement can dry down a little bit. Um, the cement's not going to uh, dry completely, not yet, not at all, in the uh, 10 or 15 minutes that we're going to spend on this step. But it will dry down, as we say, enough that um, we can go back and get the box and continue working on it. But in the meantime, we'll put a couple pieces together that we'll need later. This is the perch platform where the birds will stand. Um, you can find it pretty easily. It has this curvy edge that no other part has. Uh, this is the inside lid of the crow box. And we're going to glue one piece, or one part rather, to each of these uh, in order to make a little assembly that we'll need later. This is the, um, the perch return hook, and that's going to go with the perch platform. And this is the perch uh, fulcrum, which is the tiny little um, rail that the perch will tilt upon uh, when the machine's in operation. This is a kind of strange looking part. It's also a little thin, and it also resembles the kind of parts that fall out uh, when you're making things with a laser cutter and get counted as trash. So um, do be sure to keep an eye out for that part. Uh, don't, don't chuck it, please. All four of these parts need to be peeled, and we'll get to cementing. Uh, but before that, we're also going to need just a couple little things here. Uh, in, a, in addition to our cement, we need um, two M3 bolts and um, the nuts that fit them, and also a, um, uh, a driver that can, can drive these. So whatever you know, hand screwdriver or small tool you're using should have a head that drives these in. But I'm sure you've solved that already. So peel these parts, and then we'll be right back. Alright, now a quick note on part colors here before we move on. Um, this is obviously a transparent part, uh, and in uh, the uh, pieces of the parts that you're building with, yours might be completely transparent. Uh, it all depends on where you got your parts, how they were made, what colors you chose, etc. Uh, I find that the transparent parts are completely invisible on video, so it's difficult to actually show you what we're building. Um, so I chose this one that's tinted, uh, kind of a blue-green. For, uh, just for illustration, so don't be alarmed if yours uh, isn't the same color. The first part is easy. We're just going to put the fulcrum, this part, onto the, the machine lid, and it just, it's going to go right here, but obviously it needs to be cemented, so I'm going to fetch our cement, and what we want to do, and I'm going to use a sharpie for this on mine, not on, you may not want to on yours, up to you, but we're going to put a bead of cement here, and we're going to put one here, and here, and then simply press our uh, our perch um, fulcrum down into that spot and cement it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my bead of cement. And then I'm going to try to, if I can, get my glue plugged up with this needle before it all, or my cement rather, before it all comes out. But that's not working, so we're moving on. Let's get this pushed in. So it's pretty simple. Just put the two tabs into the two slots, tap it into place. Doesn't matter if your cementing uh, goes, uh, squishes out. No one's really going to see this part. And actually, it's probably good if that actually, if it has a decent amount of cement on it. I'm fighting with mine, so you might be fighting with yours. I don't know, but there we go. Now I can move on. So this part's done, uh, although I'm not trusting that I'm not going to lose a little bit of cement out the back there, so I'm going to keep it on cardboard for a minute. So this is um, kind of an introduction to a uh, construction technique we'll be using throughout, um, and that is we're going to use a couple little screws here, these uh, machine screws, they're 3 millimeter or M3 machine screws, and their job will be to hold this part in place, but also hold it aligned. Uh, better than we could do with our bare hands and our eye um, while the cement dries. So to get going on this, just push the two screws through the back of the the perch platform and then uh, with the um, the uh, tabbed part or the slotted part here facing out over nothingness, put it in place. And then what I like to do here is take a marker and mark the line of the perch platform on the hook so that I know where cement should go and not go. 
So for now we'll take these back out and look at what we got. Perfect. Time for a little cement on that. Uh, but beforehand, let's make sure this is that the perch platform is ready to receive it by pushing these two screws through the back and we'll hold those in place while we put this on our bench with the threaded side of the screws facing upward and the heads downward. So now that we know where cement should go, I'm going to get another one of my cardboard placemats because I just bought this cutting mat and I'm not ready to ruin it yet. I'm sure I will, but I'm not ready to do that yet. So all you want to really do is get a good bead of cement onto this part and keep it sort of inside the line that we scored from the um, the lid itself or rather the perch platform itself there and you want to just work this down the uh, bolt head the bolt shafts like this until it's in place thread your screw or your nuts on so that we don't lose it Just like that, and then uh, using your tool, which is not your hands, hopefully. In this case it is for me because I didn't bring my screwdriver down for the uh, build, but uh, you should be tightening this with a proper tool. You just want it hand tight, and as you can see we don't have too much squeeze out anywhere. Um, that's mainly because we marked where we wanted our cement and didn't put more than we needed. So these parts are now ready to be set aside and start um, letting the cement dry while we do other stuff.